What's up guys, this is Asnan and you're watching Training Code. So in today's video, we're going to talk about Flutter. Now the Flutter is a mobile app SDK complete with framework widgets and tools that gives developer to an easy way to deploy and build their mobile apps with a beautiful UIs and we can deploy them directly on iOS or an Android phone. Now we are not going to target the native languages. Now the Flutter have its own language that is Dart and it is all new language but believe me if you know the basics of programming language you're going to learn that Dart language so fast. Now the Dart language is given by the Google and the Flutter framework or Flutter, Flutter SDK is given by, frame, uh, by Google itself okay. So um, it has a pre-built framework widgets and tools which will be having a native UIs and we can easily deploy that particular UIs onto the native iOS or native Android applications okay so in this video we're going to download the filter SDK we're going to install it and we are going to run our first application that is going to be our hello world app onto the iOS and onto the Android now to do that we need two things that is first one is the Android studio and and the second one is our Xcode so uh, if you are on uh, Windows then I don't think so you are able to download and Xcode and you cannot debug your app into the iPhone emulators so that is the drawback for the uh, Windows user but if you are on Mac you can download the Android studio and you can get the Xcode as well so you can debug your app on iOS and Android as well okay so in this video we will download the SDK okay we will build the paths okay and I'll just show you how to build your first application using a Dart programming language and using a Flutter SDK. So first you're gonna go ahead and open the flutter.io you can see on the screen and link in the description as well. Go ahead and open flutter.io and in that uh, you'll get a get start button if you just take a look over here you're going to get something like this on the screen and just go ahead and click on the get started. Once you click on the get, start, get started, you're going to get something, three options to install that on Windows, install that on Mac OS and install that on Linux. So you can just go ahead and download according to your OS, okay. I'm having a uh, Mac OS, so I'll just go ahead and download that, but uh, I'm not going to download again because I have downloaded and it is going to be a 500 MB or something. And um, I have downloaded that. Now, once you download that, um, you need uh, you can develop your apps by just two things uh, or two IDEs. Um, the first one is Android Studio, and you can just directly set up with the Android Studio if you want. And if you are comfortable with Visual Studio Code, you can just go ahead and configure your Visual Studio Code, and you can just go ahead and start building your Dart application or a Flutter applications with a Visual Studio Code. In this in this video, we will be using Visual Studio Code, okay? Because um, in, in the previous videos of Ionic Framework, we are using uh, Visual Studio Code, and we are kind of so handy with Visual Studio Code, okay? So just go ahead and download that. Once you downloaded it, you're going to be give a path, or you're going to give build a path, okay, into your terminal, okay? So just I have one code. You just copy and paste that code. But you should take care of one thing is just open up your terminal, okay? And inside the terminal, head to the uh, to the to the directory where you have downloaded your Flutter, okay? So let's say for an example, in my case, I have downloaded the Flutter into my downloads folder of my Finder, okay? So if you just go ahead and open the um, downloads, where is the download? Uh, okay, I guess So if I just go ahead and open up my Google Chrome inside the Google Chrome I'll just open the downloads and open up the uh, show in finder uh, th that is my flutter Mac OS SDK and I just tell you one thing the flutter is having a beta version it is not completely out so it, there will be a chance of changing a lot okay in the SDK there will be a more changes in the future so uh, this is my download folder okay and inside the download folder I have the flutter SDK 
unzipped over here with a folder named Flutter. So what you're going to do is inside a terminal, you're going to just go ahead and drag and drop the Flutter right like this, okay? So, uh, and just remove the Flutter. So you're going to do a one director back of the Flutter. So just remove the Flutter and just go ahead and give the CD command, okay? So here we go. So you are inside the download folders right now. So uh, inside the download folder, we have a Flutter. Now you're going to hit this command to set up your environment variable path, okay? So that we are able to use Flutter command when we are developing our apps, okay? So um, for, let's say for an example, I have this command, uh, export path equals to present working directory Flutter slash bin. And th this is going to be uh, how our path for running our Flutter command, okay? So just go ahead and paste that and make sure you are in the those directory where you have downloaded your Flutter. So I have downloaded my Flutter into the download directory. Inside the downloads, I have a Flutter folder. Inside the Flutter, I'm having a bin directory and the bin directory is going to have a Flutter command, okay? So uh, just go ahead and hit the enter. It's going to set a path, okay? Now, once you download that, you're going to run one command that is going to be our flutter doctor okay so that going to be predict or that going to see that our environment or our system is capable of running the flutter or flutter app or not or it will just say that what things are missing and it will just allow you to install those things okay it will allow you to know what the things are missing from your machine or from your computer so just go ahead and use flutter um flutter doctor Okay, so just, you just go ahead and run this command and it's going to check or verify that you have Xcode or you have Android and what kind of version you have. Are they compatible with you or not? Okay, so um, there is a error in our command. So uh, what we can do, do is, uh, yeah, I just, I just forgot to tell you one step before we just go ahead and uh, we just go ahead and run the Flutter Doctor command. You just go ahead and open the Visual Studio code inside the visual studio code you need to download one plugin that is a dart code okay so open up the visual studio code and okay uh, open up the visual studio code and inside that just go in right over here on the last option of extensions okay and inside the extensions you're going to go ahead and search for that code okay so just go ahead and search for that code this is going to give you a Dart code extension, which is uh, which allow you to go ahead and create a new applications, and it will just run the doctor command and all those stuff. So I have just installed that. I'm not going to reinstall, so I'm not getting an install. But instead of uninstall, you're going to get an install button. Hit on that, reload the Visual Studio code, or reopen the Visual Studio code, and just go ahead and open the. Uh, view option from the title bar of your Visual Studio code inside the view You're gonna get the command palette. Okay inside the command palette You're going to go ahead and run the flutter doctor. That is the flow. Just go ahead and search for flutter um, Doctor and you're gonna get something like this. Just go ahead and hit that and the flutter is going to run this particular things okay so once you run the flutter doctor command you're going to get some something uh, some output like this so uh, it's going to say that the flutter chain is installed the android tool chain is installed but the ios tool chain is um, having some issues that is i'm not having a developer account for uh, in the xcode and i'm not having a brew uh, as a command line interface to install some advanced packages or something like that but for now we don't need that and uh, in future if we are developing or if you are developing or deploying the app onto the ios you need the developer commands and you need to you need to install brew cli to install the plugins from the internet okay and i don't have a connected device and the uh, in the last lead, it will say the doctor found an issue in two categories. That is, your Mac is not enabled for developers, and uh, we have not installed the Brew CLI. Okay, and uh, the device is not connected. If the exit code is something different or maybe greater than zero, then you have some uh, problem with your machine. So you can just go ahead and fix that. You're going to get the message over here, and you can easily fix that. Okay, now you are 
done with exporting your path you are using flutter command into your terminal okay now here we go with our first app how to create our first app so just go ahead and open the command palette you can just uh, go inside the view and from that i mean yeah from from the view you're gonna get command palette okay and from the command palette you're going to go new project flutter new project okay so just just type flutter um new project okay so um it will gonna it is going to ask a new project name so we'll just say as an um uh flutter u-double-t-r flutter first app okay and it's going to create a new folder okay and inside the folder we're going to give the name for our uh, app or a new folder right over here create a new folder which is going to be our uh, hello 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 world so uh, that's the name of our project and inside that we're creating a new directory where our all folders or our all the uh, all the files will be saved okay so um, just create it okay and select the folder to create a project in right so if we got a project created and it's going to download few things and and quickly it is going to be uh, having our hello world app ready okay so you'll get something like this in visual studio code just open the dot code flutter to create that okay just open it and it is going to create this particular things into your so it is just building and you can see uh, the build is ready the project is ready right now so the first thing which we are going to have inside of our uh, lib is our main uh, dot main dot dot so the execution of our uh, dot or the uh, flutter uh, starts from here okay for now i'm getting an error because it's installing the flutter packages and uh, once it is done we are not going to have this error anymore okay okay so um, as you can see on the screen um, all the packages has been installed and it's ready to go now now uh, you might be not that much handy with the dart even I'm not that much handy and um, the the thing is um, we need a package of material dot dart and uh, they are having a material uh, material designs into the Android apps and we can implement that particular material design into iOS as well. So this is going to be a void main which is our main method that will be running our my app. Now this my app is the class name which which, in, which extends the stateless widget. Now why we need to in, uh, extend the stateless widget is we need to use text or we need to use some uh, other things like icons or buttons okay and those things are inside the state let's widget okay so to use that we need to in extend into our class okay and the class name is my app now this class is going to be invoked by the main method that is our void main and it is going to have one function that is going to be a run app and it's going to new instance of our class and it's going to run our app directly now as you can see in the screen we are going to have a widget build of build context and it is going to read on a new material app and inside the material app we are going to have a title of flutter demo and it is going to have it is going to have a new theme data okay so uh, the new theme data is going to be our uh, primary switch and the color dot blue now i'll just show you what it is and how it is going to be look like now to run your uh, command or to run your ionic i mean i mean i'm sorry not ionic um, dart okay uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and debug okay and just click on the um, play button or the debug button and it is going to start building your app directly okay okay so after clicking on that debug button your android emulator is going to start and deploy your first hello world app okay and in case if you are getting some error and your android emulator is not started what you can do is you can go ahead and open up your android studio code run your Android emulator manually and then press on debug button okay and that will solve your problem of not getting started your emulator now um, 
if you will if you'll just go ahead and press that plus icon on the floating button of in the Android emulator it's going to increment that particular thing right over on the screen okay so uh, this is how we can build our app now the most uh, exciting feature of uh, uh, flutter is hot reload so if you want to taste the hot reload okay uh, you just go ahead and change the text which is written you have pushed the button this many times so I'll just go ahead and change the uh, push to the click C L I C K E D okay and I'm gonna go ahead and save that and I'm going to go ahead and reload that okay now uh, it will just say that reload is already in progress progress and uh, if you will just open and see that uh, it is going to reload that so uh, can you see on the screen it has been reloaded and instead of pushed it has done a click okay so this is the most exciting feature and it is so fast to reload your app when you make some changes okay into your app so i hope you like this video and if you are new over here don't forget to subscribe and if you like this video don't forget to hit that like button okay and i'll see you in my next one bye bye take care